When I was writing out my notes for this review, here's what I put right at the top. Don't shit on it for nothing. Have a point. That's kind of nice, isn't it? This is the intro, bitch. So, just watch my shit. And that's what I'm talking about today, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Fucking Clones. This is a thing happening on my channel. Last month, I reviewed Star Wars Episode 1, and I said in that review, each month I will be reviewing another Star Wars episode until Star Wars Episode 7 comes out. So right now, in June, we got Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, and I am not excited. So let's break down the cast before we start on the shit fest. We got Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker. A very dull character. He's supposed to be Darth Vader someday. I don't see it. I really don't. Like at all. And then we have Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. I actually remember saying Ewan McGregor is like the best character in this whole movie. He's actually a really good actor and I respect him for that. And then we have Natalie Portman as Padme Amidala. I will say terrible, terrible actress in this movie. But she is hot to look at. She, she's good to look at. I'm not even joking. I mean, seriously. Great to look at. So now I'm going to get into all the shit that is surrounding this movie. There is way, way too much CGI. I mean, look what this guy said. We have about 2,200 shots in the movie, and every one of them has a digital effect in it. He said every shot has CGI. Am I the only one that thinks that's fucking ridiculous? And then we have the fucking title, Attack of the Clones. I mean, seriously, the clones attack like once in the movie. And the, that really awesome arena scene. I will say, that arena scene. And on Geonosis is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in movies. I always wanted to see Jedi throw down, and I saw Jedi throw down in Clean House, and it was really badass. And we also have Obi Wan and Anakin's friendship. Now, everyone knows back in episode 4, Obi Wan said, And he was a good friend. But how is he going to say that? I don't buy it in this movie. I really don't. I mean, seriously, Anakin is a total dick in this movie. Also, he's a fucking creeper. He has some creep-ass moments in this movie. I've thought about her every day since we parted. I don't think she liked me watching her. I'd much rather dream about Padme. You're exactly the way I remember you in my dreams. Please don't look at me like that. Why not? It makes me feel uncomfortable. Sorry, milady. And I have to touch on the cheesy Shakespearean dialogue between Anakin and Padme. Here's the main one I'm talking about. I truly, deeply love you. No one says that shit. That is one of the stupidest, most cliched shit you can fucking think of, Lucas. Also, the shit is just crammed down your fucking throat. They want you to believe these two are gonna fall in love, but you don't. And also, she's saying, oh, I don't want to hit that because we'd be living a lie. But she's wearing these hot, sexy outfits, especially in that moment on Naboo and that, during that fireplace scene where Anakin is pouring his fucking heart out and she's like wearing this black silk outfit that's fucking sexy as hell. I mean, is she like, is she like not wanting to hit that, but she's gonna be a cock tease? It is a chore to watch this movie. I remember I started it at like, like midnight last night. I go to bed really late, guys. I stay awake till like 4 or 5 in the morning. 20 minutes in, I'm like, I'm going to bed. It's fucking ridiculous. Then when I woke up, I turned it on again, watched it hour, turned it off, played Grand Theft Auto for two hours, turned it back on, and watched it to the end, and now I'm reviewing it, people. This is one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. It is a chore to fucking watch. We're also going to focus on Django and Boba Fett. Seeing Boba Fett in this movie, I didn't care. You know, he's just a bad kid actor. But Django Fett apparently is like the main guy that they used to clone the troops. And he gets paid really good and he's a bounty hunter. And he tried to assassinate Senator Amidala. It was really cool. And then his only thing, except for money, and only other thing was a clone of himself that is unaltered. No speed growth, no like altercation of the body, no fucking combat shit, nothing. Just a baby. I'm like, that's cool, but what's his name? And then they're like, oh, his name is Boba. I'm like, oh 
shit, Easter egg. I thought that was really cool. Some people don't like it. I personally loved it. I thought that was awesome because Boba Fett, as everyone knows, is a fucking badass. We're going to focus on the Larses. Owen Lars, Beru, and Klee Lars, who apparently is Shmi's wife. Now, Shmi, for most of you who didn't pay attention to episode one, is Anakin's mother. When Anakin left, she was still a slave, and he just left her because, you know, he wanted to become a Jedi. You know, job, Trump's family, right? He gets a vision in his head that his mother is dying and being killed. He's like, dude, I gotta go save her. So he goes to Tatooine, talks to Wada, is like, hey, dude, I'm looking for my mom. Where the fuck is she? He's like, oh, I sold her to this guy named Lars. So he goes to the moisture farm that Luke grew up on. And they're like, oh, hey, your mom was taken by some Tusken Raiders. So he goes out and searches for her. I will say, that scene is a really cool montage, but the CGI looks fucking terrible. When he finds his mom, when he sees her dying, when she is, like, pouring her little heart out, I was like, oh, my God, you're so handsome. I'm like, oh, that's kind of rough to watch. That's kind of tough shit. And after she dies, he fucking goes out there and cleans house with all the fucking tusk rape. He kills them all. I wanted to see it all happen. He cuts off two heads, and they're like, rrr, rrr, they come after him, He's, and you see the lights there, like, swing at the screen. The direct wipe after that, you see Yoda meditating, and you hear Qui-Gon's voice going, Anakin, no, Anakin. I read up on this. Qui-Gon was returning from the netherworld of the Force to stop Anakin from going ape shit. I'm like, that's really cool. Um... I wish they would have shown the whole fight, you know, to have us see that shit. You know, but hey, we gotta, you know, make it PG. And then we have Mace Windu's purple lightsaber. I don't know why he wanted a purple lightsaber. Apparently, uh, Sam Jackson's like, hey man, I want a purple lightsaber. And George Lucas said yes. But everyone knows that lightsabers have a color for a reason. And then there's the conveyor belt scene, a Geonosis. Apparently, that shit was written on the way to the shoot. And this scene just comes out of nowhere. Like, seriously. They're like, oh, hey, we're gonna go negotiate with these guys. Oh, boom, big conveyor about scene. It's really stupid. Way too much CG. And also I want to touch on the Geonosians. They look like little like flying wasps. I'm freaked out by bugs, guys. Wasps scare the shit out of me. But also, their language. It sounds like Clickanese. Like, if you ever go to Africa and they're all talking like... They all talk in click and ease. And then we have like the Death Star plan just show up. They're like, oh hey, the plans will be safe with my master. And then there's Yoda with a lightsaber. I'm gonna go out and say, it. I don't like this. I'm probably one of five people that saw this movie. I don't like Yoda with a lightsaber. I think it's stupid. And everyone knows that Yoda is a man of the force. He is wise. It is Yoda. Everyone knows this guy does not need a lightsaber. I'm not gonna say anything else about it. Just that he doesn't need a lightsaber because he is Yoda. We're going to touch on Christopher Lee as Count Dooku. Now guys, with respect to Christopher Lee, the man is was a great actor, he's very accomplished. I am not going to hold back because I just don't like Count Dooku. Guys, this is with the highest respect to Christopher Lee. Don't shit on me. Just because they're dead doesn't mean you can't shit on their movies. So call me a morbid bastard, whatever. Count Dooku is a really fucking stupid character, people. Okay, he, he may be a funny, kind of sarcastic ass, but he has really no point except to die in the next movie. I mean, seriously, he has no point at all. But now we're going to touch on the fight scene between Anakin and Obi-Wan versus Count Dooku. This scene is stupid. Guys, I know everyone wanted a lightsaber battle, and this one was really bad. Apparently, George Lucas said this was better than episode one. I'm like, I don't see it. Because if you look at it, it when Christopher Lee is fighting, it is clearly a stunt double. He is doing jack shit. And when they're fighting, it doesn't even look like they're fighting because there's a point where Andy gets his core with his lightsaber, and the lights go out. And it's really that close up on their face. It looks like they're just twirling the lightsabers in the air and shit. It's really dumb and stupid and it's fucking bogus. Anyway, in the end, Christopher Lee gets away, Anakin gets his arm chopped off, and Obi-Wan gets a few cuts, Yoda saves the day, and two troops and a hot Padme walk in and save their life. Anakin gets married and the Clone Wars have begun. Also, when Yoda says, begun the Clone Wars half, that shot at the end with all the troops marching in is a really badass shot. I thought that shit was cool. Like I said, this movie's a chore to sit through. A couple of the lightsaber battles are entertaining, 
and I can't I can't give this movie dog shit because I have watched this movie when I was drunk. So I will say Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones is good if you're drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. That Padme girl is sexy, man. She's fucking hot. <laughs> hot. Hey everybody on YouTube, I have a Twitter page, I have a Facebook page, and I have a Google Plus page that I never check, so go ahead and hit that shit. The Facebook page is Florcurta TV. it's pretty, pretty fucking basic. The Twitter page is at Florcurta TV. I'll put a thing like here so you can see it. The Google Plus page, you get it. Hit that shit, add me to your circle, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button here on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, do it all so you can stay up to date with my shit. What should I talk about next? Game movie show, let me know in the comments below.